Michael Lang from Lang Productions again. Uh, I'm going to show you some more vMix tips and tricks today. Today we're going to go over a simple IFB setup for a studio type show where you might need to talk to talent one at a time or all at once. Um, so what I use to accomplish that is over here on my screen. I use vMix Panel Builder. Um, it's a free application. You can go to the vMix forums and just search vMix Panel Builder. And it's, it'll be right here in the forums. If you Google it, it's the first result. Um, just come down here download it and install it. It runs on Windows and Mac. Um, then the next thing that's required is a little bit of planning. So what I do for my audio busing to accomplish this is bus A is my talent air group, bus B is my IFB interrupt, bus C is my talent program, and then bus D, which is what producers can listen to, is talent prefade. So whether or not I have them on the air, they can hear them just like in a truck. It's fantastic. Um, and I'm going to show you how to accomplish that with some scripting commands. You could do this with a MIDI controller, anything that uses the vMix API. Uh, so what you need to do is what I have here is I have four host talk buttons. These are momentary to talk to hosts, just like in a truck. All call. And then you can toggle which host you want to listen to on the prefade bus. If you turn it off, you won't hear them. And then you'll get individual level controls over here to talk or to listen to the talent off air. Uh, I have a program level slider if you want to listen to the full program instead. And then a producer mic level just to be and a master mute for the producer to be able to uh, mute their mic if they need to. So we're going to go in here. When you bring this up, this is going to be blank. We're going to go in here to edit. I'm not going to go into the details of how to build a panel. You can look up the vMix panel builder documentation. It's pretty simple. Um, and click on my first button. So what happens here is you can have two events, button down, button up. So what I do is on video call audio source. So this is saying the audio source going to host one, which is a vMix call, is listening to bus B when I push the button down. And B, if you remember, is my talent interrupt. When I release the button and the button goes up, I want their audio source for host one to go back to bus C, which is talent program, which is what the pro talent listens to. And that's it. That's all you got to do. You make four buttons, change the input here. You can right click and clone and then just change the input and have four buttons that all do the same thing. All call is a little bit different. This requires a script because you have to send four commands at once. So on button down, I want to do start strip script dynamic. This window opens up and I do the same thing. Video call audio source for hosts one through four, bus B. And then when the button goes up, start script dynamic, audio source changes back to bus C. And all of this is in the shortcut reference, the vMix shortcut reference in the help. You can find these commands and how uh, the parameters, the value that you have to assign for them. Um, here you go. And once you do that, you'll be able to talk to talent just by holding the button down. Now you say, um, well, how, what, what source do they hear? How do you know what they're hearing? Well, now since IFB interrupt is bus B, any audio source you assign to bus B, the talent is going to hear when you hold that button down. So I have my director mic here. I have it assigned to master for the purposes of this recording, but I also have it assigned to bus B so that they hear me through this microphone when I hold the button down. And then the very last piece that we do here is we have pre-fade talent listen. And you're like, well, how do you do that? vMix changes uh, the audio levels when you mix. What you have to do is go and bring in the audio from the talent and loop it back in through NDI. So go into your outputs, turn on this. Uh, cameras calls audio inputs. Make sure NDI is on. I'm going to switch my screen so you can see it here. So go into your vMix settings. Outputs. Cameras, calls, audio inputs. Make sure NDI is on. Once that's on, you can click OK. And we're going to add those sources back. NDI, add input, and choose your caller. Choose low bandwidth mode, audio only, click OK. Audio only is important. You don't want to waste a bunch of bandwidth processing video when you only need the audio. So now I have a new source, which is audio from this caller, which is my host one. And I'm going to switch back over to my audio mixer now so you can see under here I have host prefade one, two, three, 
and four. And in order for the producer to hear them, the producer, talent prefade, is bus D. When the producer calls into vMix call, they listen to bus D. So just bus all of these to bus D and turn them up. And then in your controller, watch this. This is the mute. When I turn on the listen, it turns off the mute and now it's active. And that's how you do it. That's how you get prefade audio. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've got more coming. If you need any help with your AWS vMix setup, I'm certainly uh, available. Just hit me up here on LinkedIn and uh, I'll see you in the next video.